Today, I'm gonna to be trying vending machine foods. I live in Singapore and here you can find plenty of interesting vending machines selling all sorts of things from the typical drink and snack machines to books to even selling pot plants. But today, I'll be trying out interesting food vending machines and see if they actually taste good. First up is this machine. Guys, I have been dying to try out this vending machine for the longest time. It's Japanese cake in a can. Yep, you heard me right. This is cake in a can. I definitely know that I'm getting the short cake can. I ordered the strawberry shortcake and it cost the most at $11.80. Wow, look how pretty it is. There's two layers of sponge cake, strawberries, and it's all nicely presented. I wonder how long it took them to do this. How am I supposed to eat this? Where's the spoon? Is it inside? <gasps> okay, so be careful when opening a cake in a can because it can explode onto everyone. I found the hidden spoons. I was trying to get the perfect bite of everything on my spoon, but it ended up looking like a hot mess. Let's just hope it tastes better than it looks. Sorry, I just need to verify something. It's decent. The strawberry, I was a bit confused about the quality until I went for a bigger chunk. It tastes good, it tastes fresh. It doesn't taste like it's been in the fridge for a week or two, you know what I mean? Hmm, not bad. I think if you're craving dessert and you just wanna get something quick, cake in the can, guys. Hmm. Al, you try it. Let me know. Mm. I'm very surprised by this. All right, taste test then. Ben is a big cake lover. I actually like the cream. It's not super sweet, but it's yeah. actually pretty good. It's a, it's a quite nice, fluffy cream. There's nuts? No way, that's nuts. Mmm, almond. I ate a nut. Ooh. Oh my God, with the nut, like extra texture. Our first impression after eating cake out of the can was surprisingly pleasant. Though the price was definitely higher than we expected, but we all did really enjoy the flavor and the quality of the cake. And just as we were finishing up eating, something incredible happened. Oh my gosh. So one of the workers just saw us filming our little video and he offered us the tiramisu flavor for free. I feel like I should become a legit food blogger now. I want free food forever. Oh my god, he's opening up the vault. Ooh, okay. Nice, thank you so much. Can't wait to try. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we scored free cake, guys. Our parents would be so proud of us right now. We got the tiramisu flavor. All right, tiramisu. This one tastes so much better than the other one. <gasps> wow, I love the cream of this one. Dang, I'm so glad he gave us this one. We almost walked away and didn't get it. I don't want to share it. He's not speaking. He's going for the second scoop. Oh no. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Right, mm. right. Oh my God, this is so much better. <gasps> mm, yes, hands down, it's a double thumbs up. This flavor was delicious. It had the perfect amount of coffee, cream and sweetness, making you want to come back for more and more. It's so good and seriously addictive. We're all feeling a bit thirsty now and we've passed by a few of these iJuice machines already. So I think that's a sign for us to try it out. This machine squeezes fresh oranges all the way from Australia to make a healthy cup of orange juice. I say healthy because it's advertised as no sugar added. And the most wow part for me is that it only costs $2. After making payment, four oranges dropped down and rolled downwards to get squeezed. I couldn't actually see the oranges getting squeezed. This part was sort of covered, but at the bottom, I could see the juice was flowing into a paper cup. I was silently hoping that the machine would fill it up to the brim, but unfortunately not. The cup is then sealed and ready for us to taste test. But first, let me grab a straw. To my surprise, it was actually good orange juice. It was sweet, but not overly sweet. It tasted fresh and also it was slightly chilled, which made it a very refreshing beverage. And guys, it was only $2. Can you believe that? I'm pretty sure if you went to a convenience store and bought processed orange juice, it would cost more than $2. I'm sold on this one. I would definitely get this again. 
Next up, we came across this vending machine. It's advertised as rich and creamy frozen yogurt made from quality ingredients and for only $2 a cup. That's a steal, right? So we got to try it out. Hmm, as the machine was filling up the cup, the portion was a little bit questionable. For a cup that says big ice cream on it, the portion sure felt a little small in my opinion. Not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more, but can't be mad, it was only $2. Let me grab a spoon from the side of the machine and give it a taste test. Not the best that I've had, it is a little bit icy, you know what I mean? The flavour, I can't really identify this flavour, it's not a natural flavour. What is it? Definitely a $2 frozen yogurt. It tastes more like the cheap stuff. If you see this type of vending machine, please do not waste your money on it, it will only disappoint. Thumbs down. It's a lie. Lie, don't know, don't know. Now let's try something more substantial. This is a wall of vending machine that serves hot meals, snacks, drinks like juice, coffee and dessert. The whole shebang. Now I've never had a hot meal from a vending machine so we gotta try that out. Their hot food menu looked pretty decent. There were options like stir fried noodles, rice with curry, spaghetti, Nazi lemak and then I saw this one. It was marked as their world chef series and it was chicken korma with tomato rice. It had that special badge on it guys so I had to order that one and it was only $7. Not bad. You can even choose to have it served hot or you can buy it frozen so that you can bring it back home and heat it up later on. But we are doing hot today. After making payment, we had to wait three minutes for the meal to be cooked or should I say reheated because it's definitely not freshly cooked. Ding! Lunch is served. The food was piping hot but there was one problem. It seems like someone may have forgotten to restock the cutlery that was supposed to be dispensed. Couldn't find any cutlery so I found the next best thing, two coffee stirrers which I will attempt to use as chopsticks. Here's what the meal looks like. It looks like your typical frozen meal, pretty similar to the stuff that I used to eat after school when my parents worked late. I survived on this for years. Oh my God. It's not bad. It kind of reminds me of aeroplane food. Chicken's not overly dry. It's not the best succulent chicken I've had out there. And I just noticed that a patch of my tomato rice is completely but I would say that this hot meal is pretty okay. Like it's convenient, the taste is nice and it's well priced. So if you're someone that's short on time and you just want a quick meal and you don't have a microwave and you just want something hot, this is a decent option. Hot chicken is dry. If you avoid the crispy rice, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Mmm, it's not bad. Rice is, no, nah, chicken is okay, I think. Next up, we're heading to Bistro Bites, which serves up freshly cooked food in these lockers. It's essentially a cloud kitchen made up of different restaurants all located together behind these lockers to make it convenient to order and collect your food. They have touchscreen kiosks outside that you can browse and order from. Their menu was pretty good. Like they had Taiwanese food, Japanese, sushi, rice, noodles. I ended up choosing the Japanese UFO omelette and curry sauce. It looked interesting, okay? So I wanted to try it and it cost me $13.93. In less than 10 minutes, my order was ready to be collected and I had to key in a pin on my receipt to unlock the locker my food was in. Here's my order and it looks promising, guys. One thing that I really appreciated about this place is that there was a designated seating area for customers to sit down and enjoy their food. Unlike the other normal vending machines, you just buy and stand around and eat it. I really like that they designed an area. My meal is essentially a takeaway meal that you get from a restaurant or food court. It's got the omelette and rice in one box, the curry sauce and a salad. So I'm just going to pour the curry sauce on top. I wonder if the egg will ooze out. Not really. It's not one of those unraveling eggs. Oh my god, I'm kind of excited to eat this. 
Wow. So much flavor. The curry packs a punch. It's not so spicy, but there is a kick to it. It's well seasoned. Mmm. It's so good. I think this is the best thing I've eaten all day. Hands down, it's a double thumbs up. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. It's pretty good. Egg is very soft and fluffy. The rice is not dry at all. Pack the flavor. I'm excited for this. Mmm. This one's really good. It's good, right? Wow. Oh my god, the egg's so good. Mm -hmm. No doubt, this was the most enjoyable food we had all day. I really liked the concept of this place, the variety of food they had, how it was freshly cooked, it was convenient, and it was really easy to collect in those lockers. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let us know if you want to see part two. Click the video on screen to check out our TikTok food series. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.